All right, guys, we have reached the finale of my 2022 rig rundown, and we are going to end this series with my personal diving accessories. And I've got it laid out all over here on the table, and I've got it spread out between the individual systems that I use. So you're going to see what accessories I carry when I teach or just go diving for fun. You're going to see what I wear if I'm in an overhead environment or I'm in a side mount situation, or if I'm in my public safety rig or salvage rig, you're going to see the personal accessories that I carry on me. I will be showing you the items, telling you what they are, and I'll also show you how I attach them to my system so that they're not out there dangling around as well. So with that being said, let's jump over to the table and let's see what I'm carrying in 2022. All right, guys, as you can see, I've got a slew of different accessories up here. Now, I did separate it out into the individual types of diving that I do, and, and I'm going to go over how I actually carry each and every one of these items. Um, but I wanted to separate it to make it easier for video purposes as well. Now, some of these items are going to cross over between the different rigs, and I'll kind of talk about why I do that. But let's start over here. So this is the first accessory kit that I'm going to carry with me when I'm teaching. So obviously I've got my SSI Pro teaching slates. I've got the SSI Instructor Trainer teaching slates, which is about four or five different slates built in right there. You can kind of see that's what I use to teach pro level courses as well. There's dive skill evaluations, there are teaching presentation evaluations, and several other slates in there that I use as well. But obviously I'm going to carry those when I'm teaching in a professional capacity. Now I do have my roll-up snorkel from XS Scuba. I absolutely love this snorkel yes i believe a snorkel is an accessory i don't believe it's something that should be on every single dive with you but obviously when i'm teaching i've got to have it with me i do have an smb and real combo and i really like these units just because how compact it is um, it's very easy to get to the reel is pre-attached to the smb and it has this big wide velcro strap that kind of holds everything nice and secure so i've got it on there i do have a spare double working ender and i want to make a video in the future for you guys why we call these working double enders. Somebody commented on another video that it's just simply a double ender. It doesn't do nothing, it's static. Actually, we use this thing for a hundred different um, reasons underwater, and I'm gonna make a video showing you why we do that as well. So yes, I carry a spare double working, um, or a working double ender there with me. I have the Mares XR backup light. It has a single uh, bolt snap tied off to clip off to. I do have the ceramic cutter from the Mares XR line and I have my shears. Now, where do I carry all this? Well, on my right hip D-rings where I keep my SMB and reel, on my right shoulder D-ring, that's where I clip off my double ender and that's also where I clip off my spare flashlight. On the left front of my hip, that's where my line cutter is. My snorkel obviously goes in a, either a BC pocket or a thigh pocket or something like that if I have it with me. If I'm using it, obviously it is on my mask. My shears go on my left shoulder on the corrugated hose of my low pressure inflator hose. And then my S or my slates here, they just simply get clipped off, usually to my crotch D-ring, and then I run the slates up into my waist belt if I'm teaching. And then my big slates, primarily I just carry them in my hand when I'm teaching professional level course. Courses. All right, guys, the next set of accessories we're going to look at is my side mount accessories. And I use these for both open head environments or overhead environments and open water environments as well. Um, and it looks like a lot of stuff, but trust me, once I get everything piled in that little pouch right there, it's really not that bad. But we'll go ahead and start with the pouch. This is from the Mares XR line. You can get this pouch separate or you can get it with the Mares Pure side mount system. And the pouch is a two pocket pouch. So we got a large, very large, spacious pouch in the front. You got a Velcro uh, pouch in the back as well. And that's where you can store such things like your slates. And of course, here are my wet notes that I carry with me. It's also got another working double ender there that I can use for whatever. And that usually hangs out in the back of the pouch. I can use it to document anything, plan whatever I need it for. Moving on over, of course, I got three jump reels or spools here. Now we use these for more than just jumps. We use these for documentation. We use them for measuring. We use them for a whole slew of things underwater. And I try to carry two or three spares with me. Of course, they all have double enders as well. I can even set up courses during the side mount course or an advanced side mount course. I can actually set up a course with these and make, you know, uh, different little obstructions underwater to see how a side mount diver is going to react. So I use them for training as well. Then, of course, line arrows, cave divers. You guys are going to know what those are. Basically, these help mark for cave divers. They help mark the line so they know which way to exit the cave. Well, we use them in overhead or open water environments as well because we do a lot of mapping projects in our local environments here and it makes things easy for us to be able to 
detailed direction instantly underwater without having to pull up a compass. Um, moving on over, I do have for open water environments, I do have another SMB and reel system here. Very self-explanatory how that works. Moving on to the back reel, I got a 400 uh, I believe this is a 400 foot from XS Scuba is what I use. Uh, we use it for mapping projects. We use it for salvage work. We use it for a whole slew of things. Even if we're searching underwater, we can use it. And this is going to be the first item that kind of crosses over into the public safety uh, field too because I use it a lot for search purposes in there as well. Moving on over, I got, once again, another ceramic line cutter. As you can tell, I got one for open water, and of course, I got one for side mount. Then I have my canister light. This is the DSRT from the Mares XR line. Now, unfortunately, they have discontinued the XR line of canister lights, but I really love this canister light. It's very lightweight. It doesn't get in my way, and the way I route it, it's very inconspicuous as well. Uh, very high uh, lumen on it. does have a, a Goodman-style handle, and of course, I have... A uh, little bolt snap tied on there to clip off when I'm not using it. Then I have my helmet, my cave helmet, whatever you want to call. This is actually going to be the second item that I use in the public safety field and salvage area as well. So it's going to cross over between all this and the salvage side as well. But it's just the Mares XR helmet. Now I have added the camera mount system up top here. It does not come with that. I do have two Mares XR backup lights here on the top. So it's really nice for hands-free and they pop off. So if I just need to light itself in my hand, I can very easily pop it off. I have two spare double working enders. If you saw my video of how I get in and out of the water and side mount from a boat, you'll notice that I use double enders for that. I can clip off my tanks with that very easily and climb up the ladder if I need to. But that's going to do it for the side mount system. Let's go ahead and see how I carry all this. Well, basically all these accessories here, minus the reel, minus the line cutter, simply go in the pouch. So as you can see, it's a nice little tight compact system that I can get to at any given time and it clips off underneath my side mount system. And then of course the helmet goes on my head. The canister light is very self-explanatory. It goes onto the crotch strap of my BCD and I hold it on with bungees. I actually made a video on how we did that. I'll try to link that video down below for you. I route the umbilical all the way up around the spine of my back. It comes over my left shoulder and of course attaches to my left hand. As far as the 400 foot reel, this is very self-explanatory. It simply clips to a D-ring. Now sometimes I'll clip it to a butt D-ring or I'll clip it to one of the bottom D-rings on my harness and it's just neat and out of the way and it doesn't really get in my way. And then of course the double enders there, one goes to the left shoulder D-ring, one goes to the right shoulder D-ring, and then of course my line cutter goes on my left shoulder strap just above the chest area. It just simply sits there and I can get to it with both hands, whether it's left hand or right hand, very easily I can get to it. All right, guys, we're going to start winding this video down. We're going to look at my public safety accessories real quick. And this is what I use for not only public safety diving, but also for salvage work as well. Now, like I said, some of the items from the previous one are going to cross over. So, yes, I use that 400-foot reel for search purposes and public safety. Yes, I use the helmet. If I'm not in a full face mask, which you guys saw my full face mask, I've got lights mounted on it too, which I really like. But if I'm not in a full face mask, if I'm just in a traditional mask, I will wear the helmet because I can mount my camera on it. And of course, I can mount the lights on it as well, and it really comes in handy. But I've got my search light of choice. This is the Comfort Zone Scuba Land and Sea. I absolutely love this light. I've made so many videos uh, using this light, and I've made videos about this light. Guys, I love it. It's uh, about a thousand looms. It works great in our local environment for limited visibility. I do have a bolt snap tied off. It's got a soft uh, Goodman style handle on it, and I just really, really like this light. Runs on three AA batteries, and you're gonna have about four hours of runtime. So for what I'm using it for, absolutely comes in great. Another SMB, SMB and real combo. Now, this is just one. I typically carry anywhere between three and four SMBs and reels with me anytime in a salvage or public safety situation because I'm constantly marking stuff underwater. However, I do carry specific ones with me for this type of diving. I need an open bottom SMV, and that's what I carry. The reason is, in a full face mask, I can't pull it off to inflate that SMV, so I prefer an open bottom. Now, I don't have them all laid out here because we typically keep them in a bin, and anytime our salvage crew goes out, we grab the bin and go, and we just hand them out as we need them. But that's the SMB in real choice there. I've got another spare double working ender, a spare double, a spare working double ender there. Boy, that's a tongue twister. And then, of course, I have another line cutter. Now, you'll notice this line cutter is a little bit different than what I carry 
with my side mount rig and with my teaching rig. Now the difference is this is not just a ceramic line cutter, this is adjust out so you can actually adjust how wide this guy comes open and that way you can cut not just line, you can cut rope or anything else with it. So I really like that for salvage work because it comes in handy because I'm actually cutting more than just line when I use it. Of course, I got my EMT shears as well. You guys know I'm a huge fan of them. They work great to get divers out of wetsuits, dry suits, you can imagine. And they'll cut steel wire and everything else. So I really like that as well. And then, of course, I have my XS Scuba lift bags. Now, these are just two 50-pound lift bags. We have huge sub south bags. We got about 10,000 pounds of lift, but obviously... I'm not going to be carrying that with me on every single dive. That stays in our trailer or in our truck. These are the ones that I actually have clipped off to my BC, and I've made a video. I'll link it up top and down below for you. Go check out that video because I'm going to show you how you can secure these to your BCD where they're a quick deploy, but yet they create zero entanglement hazard whatsoever, and you can remove them and deploy them at any time, even with thick gloves. So how do I wear all this? Well, let's start with, of course, the reel. That simply just gets clipped off to my right hip D-ring. If I'm in a situation where I don't need a full face mask obviously in a traditional mask the helmet goes on my head pretty self-explanatory there also on the right hip d-ring that's where i keep my real and smbs and yes i keep them all on the right hip d-ring so if i got three or four real and smb combos and i've got the big reel it's all clipped off to that right hip d-ring of course the spare working double ender that is on my right shoulder d-ring uh, my light goes on my left hand just like my canister light does there Moving on to the line cutter, the line cutter goes on my uh, left hip strap, so just in the front area of my hip there, that's where it goes, I can get to it with the left or right hand. My shears go in the traditional place on all my BCs, it goes on the corrugated hose of my inflator hose, and get to it left or right hand. And then of course these go in between my back and the back plate, but on the side, so it's not like I'm squishing them in there, it's not creating any entanglement. Think of a bottle of Argon for your dry suit, that's exactly where I carry these. One on each side. They're secured by bungees and I can simply pull them out anytime I need them. But that's going to be the accessories for my public safety and salvage rig. Alright guys, so I couldn't really end this video without talking about some honorable mentions here. There are a slew of other accessories that I am using in 2022. I do keep them stored either in a save-a-dive kit, either that little small one, this large one here, or even this larger one up here. And there's some that I just have laying around everywhere, but I do want to mention them real quick. Because as you can see, I've got spare flashlights, spare chargers. I've got things all over this place that I constantly use day in and day out. These on the table are primarily the ones I'm using every single day. Obviously, if I have one go down, if my canister light goes down, I've got a couple of backups up here that I can use. If all my primary and backup lights go down, I've got several of the other ones. I've got multiple orca torches and other different types of lights that I use. But I do want to mention certain um, honorable mentions here that I carry with me, but I rarely use them. They are just spares. They are not necessarily for me, but they're for everybody else as well if I need to hand off. The first one is this little slate right here. Now, I love this little slate because it's just very small, compact. I've got it tied off with a little bolt snap. And I actually don't really use this slate for writing much because I got a set of wet notes I can write on. I got another set of slates if I'm teaching, as obviously I got my IT slates there. But what do I use this for? Well, photography. That's right. I use this to set white balance when I'm doing photography, whether I'm teaching a class, I've got my cameras, I can use this on the spur of the moment underwater to simply take a picture. Now, if you saw our fin video, you'll notice that both my free diving fins and my teaching fins are white as well. I can simply use those as well as a white balance card. So that's what that accessory there is for. No, I don't carry it every single day. I just carry it if I need to get that perfect shot or whatnot, or if I'm teaching a, some type of photography class. But I also have a slew, and I don't have them all laid up here. These are just ones. As a matter of fact, these extra double enders and bolt snaps here, these were recently gave to me from a dry suit student, and I thoroughly appreciate him um, giving me those. I've got a ton of these laying around. These are from X Deep. I really like these. Um, I've used X Deep products in the past. I, I don't carry X Deep. I'm not an X Deep dealer, but they make some superior products. They truly do. And if you X Deep divers out there, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But I have a slew of bolt snaps, double enders, and a lot of different metal hardware that I use. I keep it laying around. These save a dive kits, that box there, that box there, and that box right under there is full of different clips and accessories just like that that are just there for spares that I don't use on every single dive, but they are there. 
But guys, these are my accessories for 2022. I really hope you enjoyed this series. I've thoroughly enjoyed making this video series for you as well. Um, if you got any questions whatsoever on any of the accessories, please drop me a comment down below or drop me a comment about what you carry on your dives. So once again, guys, I've really, truly enjoyed making this series for you. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it, and the ones that did were asking, well, how do you carry all this with you? And I hope these videos kind of explain how I clip them off, how I secure them. Um, if you go back and watch any of our videos and you see me as the talent, not just me, the one talking, you'll see how those items are clipped off. You'll see that there's really no entanglement hazards. I don't carry everything with me at one time. Obviously, I carry what I need when I'm out there diving for that specific job. If I need certain items to go with me, but I don't want them to create, I might clip off that side mount uh, pouch with any of my systems. I can just clip it to a couple D-rings and it doesn't really get in my way in any way. But guys, I really enjoyed making the series and I really enjoyed making this video as well, even though this is probably going to be the longest of the series. But if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. And like I said, comment down below. I really want to know what you guys are carrying. I want to know how you carry it. Because I'm constantly updating my rigs. Every year, I usually get a brand new rig, new BC, new tank, new whatever. And I want to see what you guys, or I want to hear about what you guys are diving. Because I'm a gear nut like you too, and I love going out and buying new gear. But guys, if you like this series and this video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.